now let's see how we can perform a azure active directory uh, enrollment so now i am on my client machine again i am going to the same location uh, access work or school i am going to use a connect option in now instead of adding email id in this portion i am going to select join this device to azure active directory even you can use join the device to local admin account when you look in uh, i mean local active directory domain if you have on premises domain you can join that machine to that domain so i'm going to use join this device to azure active directory i'm going to click on this uh, now is asking me a uh, email id i'm going to again use the same byod uh, user at the rate uh, in tune demo lab dot on microsoft dot com okay now i am password if okay now my machine is going to join azure protected now you can see that make sure that this is your organization if you continue system policies might be turned on on or other changes might be made to your pc is this a right organization connecting to this is my domain intune demo lab dot on microsoft dot com username my username byod at the rate and i am going to be a with the administrator of that user if i'm going to click next my machine is going to uh, i mean my machine is joining to the azure active directory and if mdmx scope is set to all or scope and my machine user is a part of that scope then machine is going to enroll in uh, in tune automatically now we can see that device is connected to self self is my organization name when you are ready to use uh, you are ready to use this new account select start button okay and then okay i'm going to switch now now we can see that because mdm scope is set to all uh, i am joined to this uh, uh, on premises sorry not on premises azure active directory and i can again perform the actions i can sync i can sync to get the latest policies and application now let's check again the same location cmd command i am going to type uh, ds reg cmd space uh, backslash status now okay ds cmd okay sorry type now in the previous two demo we saw that the machine is not joined to any of the domain now let's see okay okay now we can see that in this machine is joined to azure active directory is yes this is my device id and uh, device details this is the device id this is thumbprint certificate validity this is the certificate validity okay device authentication succeeded and uh, okay let's see what else we can check here okay let me make it big little bit okay okay not sorry okay now we can see that uh, mm, this is my mdm url mdm compliance url okay this is a discovery url through which machine is going to register and roll in into okay now user state is okay machine is uh, as you already read tptr is no okay and then uh, i mean other things are related to different things but what i want to show you is that when you are uh, using this option machine is going to join in as already and then if scope is set to all then machine is again automatically enroll in uh, in tune let's see in engine portal uh, let me show you first in azure active directory i'm going to refresh it i'm on all devices this is my machine name and this machine is joint type is azure ready who is the owner of this machine byod i am the owner 
I mean, BYU is the owner who is the person who registered that machine in Intune. Okay, and then let's see that machine in uh, Intune portal. Okay, as of now, it's not there. It might take some time. Meanwhile, I'm going to do. I'm going to run a sync. And then, okay, okay. Meanwhile, let's check uh, MMC again to see whether the certificates are populated or not. I'm going to add again the my user and then computer account and then finish. Okay, let's see personal. I don't have anything. Okay, and the trusted intermediate I have. I have one certificate again in intermediate. Okay, Microsoft Intune issue certificate and let's see if I have something in here or not. Okay. Here certificate is there. Okay. Now we can see that uh, I have a certificate issued to my computer. Okay. And the certificate issued by Microsoft Intune MDM device C certificate and the certificate issued to my device ID. Okay my intune device id okay let's see why is, why is my intune device id okay as of now i don't the machine device id is not populated okay uh, let's see if now machine is showing then we'll see that okay now it's showing i'm going to click on here and then this is my device id 3bd and the same i we can see here 3bd okay and then under hardware also we can verify this is my intune device id this is my azure device id we have one more certificate issued to my azure device id and issued by ms organization access as well as ms organization p2p access again okay. and this certificate is, is expired uh in 2020 expired in 9 2022 now i will another organization access is expired on 2032 okay now what else let's see uh event viewer again to see what's going on in event viewer with respect to this enrollment i'm again going to click application and service location logs inside it going to click on microsoft windows and then device okay so there is one more location here call it call it as a uh, user device registration okay this is when user is uh, performing the registration okay okay let's see if we have something here okay okay now let's see in the device one uh, device man diagnostic okay again the same location we need to find out or maybe we can if you know the uh, the event id then yeah, i know that it's 72 let's see okay now it's 72 it's showing that okay device is registered successfully okay uh, this and then okay now uh, if now i can perform all the actions on this device okay uh, i want to delete that device i'm going to delete that device when i'm going to click on yes delete that device uh, my mush uh, let's see what's going there happening there in this machine now let's see what is okay self has removed your workplace account and deleted all the application informations associated with your workplace account including business apps password requirements and other policies from your device okay um, i'm going to click here okay this machine is now no more in any domain okay again let's again check that I mean, what I'm trying to show you is that once the machine is enrolled in Intune, you can initiate a number of things like you can delete that machine, you can uh, restart that machine, you can synchronize that. I mean, I, okay, now the object is not there in Intune. Let's see if that object is there in 
Azure. Now this Azure is also showing that device is no more in picture. Okay. 